we'll copy this, and that gives me a lot more space to play with, too. Uh, right. Uh, okay. We will expand out that side, I think. And if nothing else, we can now do this. So I'll just have that there for the sake of it. Uh, we can start stacking up the thorns. Got another lucky ring, really? Is this going to be the ring build? Uh, wow, okay. So you're <laughs> giving, giving me all the things I would need for a scratch build. We've got the blast sword as well. On kill creator blessing. Wow. This is only a common club. I'm not going to get much for selling that. All right. All right, you've convinced me. You have convinced me. <laughs> We're going to go with the Vorpal Blade and the Blessed Sword. What an unlikely pairing. I love it. And three luck. We're probably not going to keep three luck rings, but while I've got them, there's no point in not doing so. All right, let's see. What have you got? You've got the Lance. It has piercing, which is nice, certainly. We've got the Dark Headband. When a wand kills an enemy, adds two mana. We've got the Bandages. When combat ends, gain a little bit of healing. That's also very nice. We're going to say goodbye to the Vampiric Eggs. Bye-bye. Now, I probably want to put a little bit of poison on this and a little bit of slow on this, too. Possibly. This Actually, this is just better for that. Uh... Grabbing the bandages isn't an awful choice. But let's make sure that I'm not making a silly mistake with my uh, my money here. Hello. It's going to really suck being you in... Well, now, actually. This is going to only be really useful when I've got ads. When I've got ads, this is going to be just grand. I shall get some more thorns. Uh, I don't know about this one. For each item below, plus two block, I'll take damage the items below are disabled. That doesn't seem like a smart move for my current build. All of the thorns, all of the time. We just need a yellow rose and we're set. This is such a weird build. <laughs> I'm loving it, though. I'll bring a fish. Uh, actually, no, we should probably bring this, thinking about it. We'll take that along. Finish choosing. Uh, because I can just sell it. Hello. What have you? You've got a left gauntlet. You've got the lunar blade. Uh, it's just really not that useful for me. Um, so if I have a look at the card... Does 16 damage, but costs 3 mana to cast. It's not, not great. Uh, the Glass Gauntlet isn't terrible, though. Pop the Left Gauntlet there, get a chunky bit more block going on. We could get the Feather Cap. I could just move these down. Move the Feather Cap up. 35, though, so I'd need to make some sales, but am I even using the Wild Buckler, then? It's a good get-out-of-jail-free card, I feel. If I were to do something like that, then I'd be able to get that in position, but can I even make that money? No, I can't. Uh, I could sell some thorns at the... <laughs> yeah, I could, actually. I can sell thorns at the other shop. There we go. And then we'll come back. <laughs> How marvellous. There we go. Alright, let's go back and grab that hat. I've come back for your resplendent feather cap. Now, this is adding 10 block, 6 block, 3 block, 2 block, 6 block, 4 block, six, uh, 3 block. Yeah, this, this is kind of a, a silly amount of block that we're generating. Do I even need the wild buckler? Almost certainly not, but I will be very sad if I do, for whatever reason, need it, and I, I've uh, flubbed the build. I would have liked to have grabbed maybe some more poison, but honestly, at this point, I think we're saving uh, right now for f uh, flames. Or possibly freeze. I haven't seen that 
available for a, a smith, but uh, I should imagine it is. Hello. Once again, gonna suck to be you. In the very, very near future. That, and that's on kill. It doesn't care about blast, uh, whether it is a uh, a summonling or not. 24 damage. I already do too much damage with you. So I will need to hit you twice. What blessing we've got. When combat ends, adds great luck. On take damage, destroyed. That's fine. We'll pop it there. Just in case it would destroy the thing underneath. And we'll sack it a bit more. Slow and poison. That's a lot of creatures. Um, how much damage are we doing? 20 damage here. I could take all, out all of these, and I've got enough block to deal with everything else. Uh, the shield. Weapons two spaces away get plus three damage. I mean... Sure. I ex well, I accept. For each row below, plus three block. Each turn adds one block. Sure, I'll add that in. This sword... Uh, this build has now become absolutely stupid. You are invincible. <laughs> sure. Sure, we are invincible. I see no reason not to just keep with this. Golden car. On use. Adds two energy. Destroyed. Oh, please don't destroy the items underneath. Let's find out. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's fine. And there we go. Uh, I will take another vote. Tuck you in there. Luck won't matter in this battle, but when an item is destroyed, it adds one energy. Barbell, this item is heavy on take damage. Each turn effects are applied again. Uh, hmm. See, now I really want shivs. Weapons behind this are used. Weapons behind this are destroyed. 500% bonus damage. See, I could have something like that. I just keep stacking it on a shiv where the bomb stone is. And then pop for catastrophic levels of damage. I like that idea. These two together would be great. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing I can do here. Finished. Right, let's go and see. What do we got in this chest of valuables over here? Be really? Uh, I mean, tempting. Not gonna lie. Uh, what would we use it on? We could just use it on the Blessed Sword, but no. No, uh, the Archangel Winds are only tempting because they'd be so valuable to sell. This build does not need them. It would have more utility out of the right glove. I know that sounds stupid, but it's true. I would get more out of having the right glove in this build. Uh, but for the sake of selling, they'll bring me a pretty penny, like 17 gold, so... We might want to do that. Actually, is there anything here I need for research? Alright. Well, let's go and increase my... Well, I can't, actually. That's a shame. can't increase my max health. I could send the the Archangel Wings back with Parcel. But I don't think we will. We're going to go to the Frozen Heart, finally. All right. Down into the depths we go. Are we going to find Pocket down here? If not, then I can only assume that it might be something that is locked behind having unlocked the Frozen Depths. Uh, the frozen core, and then going to the magma core. Right, if I want, I want the experience points, not the the health. We don't. What? Crate, were you here first? Enlightened cultist. Blast processing. 
The transformation has begun. Changed co- uh, Do we know what made Crate? I suddenly realize that we might not. Hmm. Little bit concerned. Which damage you do currently? Oh, damn it. It uh, increases in cost. My bad. I forgot about that. Plus one to the energy cost, yeah. And this is the one that doesn't. Alright, that's fine. I mean, they take a lot of damage off my... Uh, from my spikes. The diamond here? Adjacent to diagonal weapons to get plus two damage? Don't really need it with the whetstone. You don't need anything that scales damage when we've got the whetstone with us. Alright, how much damage do you do now? You do 20. If I do that, then I can use you to get me a blessing. Not one we really need. Uh, still, we can pop it over there. Alright, you're going to use weakness on me, which I disapprove of, but my stacking uh, strength is just going to roll over you. Uh, yeah, 28, 28. On the pl oh, I was going to say on the chance that I might be able to get a blessing that would give me great luck, but alas, no. Uh, you really want me to go for that scratch build, don't you? Cactus, on take damage, add 7 spike to self. No, it wouldn't be helpful. Still, that's an uncommon, which I can sell. But I've got nowhere to put it. Right. Let's go grab this. Yoink. Now we need to get over there in time. Uh, or let's let's actually say we're not going to do that and just sell this. Goodbye to you. The golden shift can be used one time each turn. On use deals two damage. On kill, non-summon, plus two gold. But it would be destroyed. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, stacking star, creates a shuriken in this space. I mean, that would also work. It's destroyed. Well, I'd have to keep making them, which is the problem. But, we can do that. That being said, we may as well look around and see if I can find an equivalent item. Okay, some more cultists. We've got a corrupt sage. Not a lot of damage coming out of you. That I'm not entirely okay with. In fact, so not okay. I'm going to pop my shield. Alright, let's start working my way through you. There we go. And you're out of the running for now. Honestly, the, vol the Vorpal Blade by itself right now is doing everything we needed to do. There's really nothing these enemies are able to do back to me. Especially with the stacking uh, spikes down there. The Yellow Rose would make this ridiculous. I would love it, but... Ooh. An antler room. Hmm. I guess we can bring that back. Sure. Might as well. Uh, do we see any potential chests? Oh, wow. This is a really basic floor. Alright. Well, given that... Yeah, I'm just going to... Wrap that one up. We'll go and check. This is my forge. Spikes for shield. Hey, oh, damn it. Haste the structures. Ugh. Poison to weapons. We're not getting fire, it doesn't seem. How many? We've only got one option left on this. I'm going to hold out for it. I'll put poison on this for now. Yeah. We're good. Alright, let's go and see what we've got over here. Of course, it's the locked chest. 
What the dickens are you? You look terrifying, whatever you are. Hello. Oh, no. Amalia. Hand of the monad, bearer of the elder blood. You look decidedly circuity. A terrible thing is going on here. That's a lot of damage coming my way. We'll be able to deal with it, sure. But there's also a bunch of freeze, and freeze is a big problem. I'm just going to focus on doing as much damage as quickly as I can here. Just keep uh, slowing him. Yeah, the freeze is a problem. Freeze will receive five additional damage when attacked. So that's uh, a total of 40 damage coming my way. So we are going to pop this. Then wallop you. There we are. And that should now only be four extra damage. Yeah. We're going to summon someone. That's actually quite good for me. Yeah. The amount of damage we're outputting now. 30. <laughs> we're doing 66 damage a turn. Alright. Kind of annoying. How much damage do we output here? 35. Mm. 20 damage coming from... Only 23. So we could just do this. One... Two. Uh, sure, invincible. We'll pop that down here. And then finish you off. There we are. We'll just tank the damage. You'll do a bunch of damage to yourself when it uh, triggers anyway. Uh, we should be... Oh, well... No. Damn it. Can't use it again. Alright. All in on just whomping you with as much damage as possible. There we go. Uh, let's grab that. Now, another pair of boots. Wouldn't be awful. However... That one would be the better one. Shimmy up. Move that in. There we go. Four block there. Four block here. Honestly, the shoe hat is so much better than the basic leather boots, but it, they're harder to come by. And finish choosing. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look at what we got here. We've got... Uh, we have got the stacking star again, which, again, that was what I was looking for. I'd have to lose these leather boots, though. That isn't the worst worst option here. In fact, that's pretty solid. I could bring along the dice. Yeah, let's bring along the dice. I'm going to go and sell this wild buckler, though. Losing the leather boots... I mean, effectively, I've not lost anything with this. But I've not gained any additional block either, which is the, which is the problem there. Unless I want to... Just not take the stacking star or the dice, uh, but I think I think those are better for me. Right, let's go and say hello to you. I would like to sell this, and that's really all I wanted to do. And moving on. Okay, let's find out what the rest of the frozen heart has to offer. These are the first times we're seeing any of these units. Don't care about this, care about that quite a lot. So let's go grab that first. Can I still get over there? I can, but there's really no point. But I'll do it anyway just because I can. Okay, we've got a Newt Oathbreaker. He corrupts himself in his efforts to control the trees. And the polar bear. Rarely seen outside of the Arctic wastes and frozen core, polar bears will fight anyone willing to test their metal. You're going to use a Tesseract. No, you're not. An ice block. Uh, hazard. Three uses. When out of use is destroyed. On use, plus one to the energy cost for this turn. Oof. This like that. This like that mightily. Alright. We're gonna dump as much ouch into this as we can. And I could always just go whomp. But we'll save that for another time. Oh, good lord, that's huge. Uh, Alright, pop it down. I 
I greatly disapprove of what you're about to do. Okay, these these are smaller ones. Uh, we're just not going to do anything with the uh, the sword, I think. There we are. Removed you. The vampire blade, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's certainly not amazing for us either. The I would love it if the duplication would allow me to duplicate the on damage that is already stacked on this. That would truly be amazing. Reorganizing now to claim this would be fantastic, but it's too late. Damn it all. Because I could have just slotted that in there. All right. Well, we wanted that. Oh, we've got another hat. Um, it's giving me 10. This is giving me only 6. But it would give me... I would only lose 4 by putting that up there. Hmm. Bomb arrows, too. I'm going to use this, though. Uh, alternate use. Nothing better. Alternate use. <laughs> okay, that, that actually did work out quite well for me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, right, well, we've got the frozen hammer now, which is an interesting option. Because uh, it adds three to freeze, and it's one of very few items that have that kind of capacity. Or would I sacrifice in order for that? I'd have to get rid of the stacking stars, bring that in, maybe then sell the blast sword, but the blast sword is so good. I, no, I don't. I really don't see a use for that. I think what we've got right now is perfect. There just wasn't anything valuable there, ultimately. Uh, I'll pick something up that I can sell, but that's it. Right, finished. I'm going to grab this. Right, what event have we got down here? Oh! There you are, you scoundrel! I've been looking high and low for you! We meet again! We do! For the last time! God. No way I'm going to ever leave this place! Can't we be friends? Really? If you just knew how much effort I went to... You... I already have friends, and they're about to pummel you into the... I bet they wouldn't have been searching for you this long. Right, let's quickly build up. I'll get a little bit of healing going as well. In fact, for this turn, I'm just going to power up. Oh, that one should have been enough. Damn it. Right. How much damage do we do? One, two, there we go. Alright, you're all going to try and get away. You're just going to protect. You're going to protect everyone. There's really not too much here that I need to worry about. Um, let's start thinning the herd a bit. Actually, I can finish you off with that. Get okay, a blessing. Oh, nice. Okay, use. Very nice. Use a little bit more. Up to 26 damage now. Okay. And finish you off. What have we got? The Blooming Gem. Adjacent weapons get plus three. That gives me 35 here. Still not enough damage coming in for me to be concerned about it. But it might start stacking. So let's just finish you off, get whatever we're going to get. Lucky. And then start directing all of my efforts to... Po uh, pocket or Pochette? I'm not sure how to say it, but uh, I'm going to go with Pocket. Cause, uh, backpack hero. Alright, we're going to just dump all of our power into the Vorpal Blade here. And again. You've got 10 poison damage stacking on you. And there we go. Uh, what I'd like to copy, we'll grab that. I can't beat you! 
not even close. I've been pushing my friends as hard as I can and it's still not enough. Plus, Coco is still mad at me for the escargot line. <laughs> Listen, there are a lot of bad animals in the dungeon, but I'm not one of them. Can't you see this? I've been letting you and your pets go. The same warriors that harass you destroyed my village and we're only just now getting back on our feet. We can work together and stop them from ever destroying another town. Fine, whatever, I guess you're right. I can stay in your town for a time and help. Maybe we can teach each other a thing. Oh, thank goodness, finally! Shower does sound nice to you. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I've been looking for you for so long. <sighs> Alright, what have we got over here? Overgrown wizard. Frozen roots are entwined with his legs and the magic of this place. Uh, and me. And also a frozen mage. Uh, shift. When health is below 99%, change the behavior in future turns. You, you're just going to try and run. Um, okay. Yeah, you're still, you're still just going to run. So deeply, deeply sad. I'm not going to be able to stop you. Oh well. Goodbye. Oh wait. Oh no, that you were passing the turn, not running. <laughs> uh, never mind. Look, I'm so elated over getting pocket that I'm I'm not thinking straight. Okay. Uh, nectar on use adds three burn to enemy, adds three burn, poison to enemy, and three freeze to enemy, and then it's destroyed. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll do that straight away. Oh. I should have moved that up again. All of the mistakes, all of the time. You're going to die to your weak, uh, your poison. Good lord, the amount of damage this is outputting now. That is criminal. Alright, we've got a level up. Fantastic, because that means I can now use... The uh, item I just duplicated. Let's shimmy all of these down here. Shimmy you up. Right. We've got another heart ring. We've got a fish. We've got some flowers. Adds one energy. Adds luck. I mean, it's quite nice. Uh, each turn adds one mana to the connected mana network. If there's no network to connect it to, it does nothing. This is the only thing that does something for me right now. Um, I will bring this along. I may as well. I mean, I could have sold that item, I guess, but... Oh, my lord. Okay. Disapprove. How about... Just use that straight away. I'm just going to remove you as well, so I don't have to worry about you skedaddling. We're just going to focus all of our attacks now on you. I can store the smaller cubes over there if I need to. Now up to 33. Ah, damn it. I should have gone for you. My bad. Didn't even notice. I could reorganize and grab another left gauntlet. Uh, yeah, actually. See no reason not to. I've still got one energy as well. Right, got some mana. Uh, got another lucky ring. Uh, we've got a poison bubble. Can be used one time each turn. This item floats on use. Adds two poison to self. This weapon is... Uh, weapons this is played on get five poison this combat. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be bad. I could easily remove the problem. Um... The item floats up, so I'd need to store it over there and just move it across. Not actually too bad. Because I could remove it, and maybe I could keep moving it. I'm, I'm not sure. I've, we don't really use those kinds of weapons much. Hello. I would like to sail this. 
We've got the ethereal staff. Don't need it. Up to two spaces away, get plus four damage. It would actually be nice. But probably still don't need it. We'll keep hold of things for now. These are generating a good bit of block. What have we got here? Oh my. Trade food for a cleaver. I don't have any. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right at the end. Okay, I, I'm not too sad about this. It was clearly not going to be a cleaver build. Ooh. Okay. I mean, with a mana stone and this over there, that could potentially be amazing. And what would I be sacrificing for it? Alternatively, I could get another bronze breastplate. That's also an option. That would buff you then. But I think this is the better, better grab. If I were to place it here instead, I could still have this going down there, but I'd need to get a couple of spaces. Still haven't used this. Odds are I'm not going to, so I think I'm just going to sell it. Well, in that case, that frees me up in a couple of ways. Because that'll attack every turn. And it's a projectile as well. I do want to get some mana now, though. But I'll get that when I sell this. Alright, that actually works out really nicely for me. Let's head back down. Hello, you can have this. Thank you very much. Uh, show me these around a little bit. Oh, I still need a mana orb, actually. Okay, let's go and see if we can get a mana orb for ourselves. Oh my god. So many cultists. Dear me. Would love to get this some sort of big buff to poison or the like. We had a poison stone or something there, it would be fantastic. Ah, you're not getting, getting the buff anymore. That is a shame. I should have repositioned you. That's fine. Oh, the range is a problem, actually. Alright, first move that across. There we go, actually. That gave me a massive boost. I should move it down there next. Let's use that. Now then. Yeah, you're not you're not gonna be useful this combat, sadly. Unfortunate. That is what it is. Now some of them will just die on my spikes. Back down there. There we are. Five poison. Loads of poison there. Okay, yeah, no, this is good. Uh I need this to be here, I would say. Effectively, I need to just move these things around a little bit more. Even having the Blessed Sword there would be better. Um, we'll, we'll have a look at that. Sure, I'll pop that there. Took a little bit of damage that time. Not happy with it, but... Uh, we do have a guppy. Uh, not sure we really need one. Alright, let's shimmy some stuff around. That was fantastic, though. And it's something we absolutely want to use more of. That way we can keep everything where it needs to be. Uh, yeah, I want everything to be buffed. These two are the ones that'll be healing, and only one now is going to cause... is going to get the poison, which is the issue. Because hmm. I would love it if this would automatically do that. You are a difficult one to place, aren't you? This would allow two things to affect it. But at that point, each item would only affect two of the weapons. I mean, it's a good way of spreading them around a bit, but... Do I think removing poison is going to be a bigger concern for me? Probably, considering the poison bubble.
Alternatively, I could just do away with the poison bubble because really it's only just upgrading some things. I think that might be the play there. Let's get rid of the poison bubble as well. There we go. Now, I've just got a little bit of poison mitigation, but that's okay. Uh, healing is going to do a lot more work than that. Let's pop things back down there. All right, let's go and see what this fight is. Clear it out so I don't have to come back here. A little bit of healing. A little bit of just raw power. Start laying into you. Well, that problem is now fixed. Got a little bit more healing besides. Full health, and you're gonna. Oh, actually, no, you didn't take yourself out. <laughs> Never mind, you did. Uh, oh no, it was my lightning bolts. Thinking about it. Got the roof. Don't need it. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a yellow rose. Let's try and pop the roses together. I like the visuals. All right, that's good enough. All right, what kind of event we've got over here? Oh, you wanted food. Let me see if I can find some for you. We don't have any in here. However, we do have the pearl. If I pop that there, it affects both of these, which is glorious. Hello, polar bear. Ooh. Not liking the look of that, actually. Polar bear is the bigger concern, though. Uh, this item floats. When your turn ends, create static in the space below. On use hurts. Let's pop that there, then. Okay. You're dead this turn, more or less. Let's just take you out. Oh, nice. Very nice blessing, that one. Wondrous blessing, in fact. You can get a bit of poison on me. It's not going to be too much of a concern. Yet. Okay, we've got the Archangel Wings. Now, if I want those, I have to get rid of my plus one energy, and I don't want to do that. We've also oh, wow, this is an amazing find. Right, adjacent helmets get plus one block. Adjacent footwear gets minus one. Each turn adds two block and adds two haste to self. It's just too good. I cannot not take that. We're going to keep this. We're going to take this. Move that up there. All right. We don't need the Rose of Thorns. At this point, we've got two spike helmets. That is all we're ever going to need. Can I? Does that work diagonally? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, it's still fine. This is now kind of ridiculous, but the Vorpal Blade loses the bonus that, that that was giving. But I think that's okay. We are throwing away a legendary item for this, but I think everyone can accept that this is the best best option for us. Uh, that's still quite good as well. I could get rid of the Gauntlet, I guess, in exchange for taking this with, but I've got 91 gold. I'm going to regret it, aren't I? I'm going to regret not, not bringing that along. Right, that's giving me 8 block. This is giving me 3. So I'd be saying goodbye to 11 block. No, I'm not going to say goodbye to 11. That, oh, actually, no, never mind. I can. I can afford to say goodbye to 11 block. Be quiet. The Archangel Armor is giving me stacking haste. In the first turn, I'm going to have so much going on, it's going to be wild. Can I even sell that here, though? Ah, oh, no! Uh, and we don't need it where we're going. Uh, I made it dumb. Oh, well. It is what it is. And down here, it's doing me no good, so I'm probably going to switch these around a little bit. But that's okay. We can, we can get all that going.
let's just try and remove you from this equation altogether. I'm gonna take a bit of damage here, but it's okay. Because now I'm really not gonna take much. Let's just get that in there. With that being said, uh, yeah, <laughs> it just took, it took him out anyway. Uh, is there anything here that is common now? Not really. All right, let's move these up because that still is active down here because it's in the top row in this in this tile. Uh, we've got the moth bomb. Oh, man, that would have been good with what we had before. Jason weapons get plus one poison. Jason weapons get minus one damage. Well, oh, do I want to say goodbye to this sword? I don't really. Am I wanting to copy any common items, though, at this stage? I don't think so. Where we're going, we don't need common items, and having both of these gain a little bit more poison is too useful to me. That said, having this gain that is even more useful for me. Yeah, I think that works. One poison to all enemies on top of this. Um, no, I like having both of these automatically heal me. There's a option here, but no, I prefer that setup. All right, we're done here. Let's go and see how much ridiculous money I need for something amazing. Block shield, two spikes of shield, one one rage for melee weapon. Yes. Oh, it's not a melee weapon. No! Yes, we've got it. We've still got it. Okay. Uh, Rage to melee weapon over here as well. And then more rage on this melee weapon down here. So this will stack it, and the other one will just maintain. Okay, that works. We've now got stacking damage, stacking protection. Technically, stacking healing. Uh, well, actually, you know, we've got stacking poison as well. All right, well, this is good. We didn't end up with fire, which is an odd one. Okay, let's go. See the, what we have to see. The frozen heart finale. Okay, let's go all the way around. Whee! Wow, that is, that is an epic beard. The Farseer. You will get 120 experience for defeating this enemy. Right, you. Pop a little bit of healing on the go. Uh, do I want to stack the rage? Kind of, yes. Oh, let's start building that up. You're going to summon some minions. It's fine. I'm going to continue stacking my rage. It would have been better if I could have been on this realistically, but... Uh, let's continue going. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a annoying, so I'm not going to lie, but... Let's bring you down in health aggressively. You might kill yourself on me. How big is that? Uh, oh, it's float. Uh, right, okay. When your turn ends, create a static in the space below. I'm going to put it over there, then. Oh, good lord. I greatly disapprove. That is going to hurt. Right. I don't need to worry about it. Right, they've disabled a bunch of my incoming block, but... That should work out for us. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Right, let's continue to stack my rage. Of course, you're doing the same thing. Which I disapprove of. Got up to 8 rage now. Thankfully, my stacking haste is stacking faster than your rage is building up. A little bit more healing on the go there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we win. I can just take a single swipe and we win. But let's get a blessing off the boss, because that's a power move in my opinion. Uh, sure, we'll add that in, and then we'll finish you off too. Okay, we win. Level up. Let's go ahead and... Where do we want to pop these? Might as well pop it over there, I guess. Uh, sure. Done. Get items. Slide that up there. Right. Keep half your block next turn. Bonkers. Minus two to mana cost of adjacent and diagonal ones. I mean, that is a great one. But we'll take this. Okay. And we have found the cheese. Nothing else there. Time to go and meet Pocket at long last. What an awesome run that was. Bloody long run, though, so I'm probably going to split this into two parts. <laughs> Hope you won't mind. All right, where, where is Pocket? Pocket? Where are you? Where be Pocket? Wait, wait, someone has just walked into the... F yeah, there you go. You beat me when we first met. You beat me deep in the dungeon. You beat me at the heart of the dungeon. How do you get to be such a strong warrior? Teach me! It's all the backpack. When I wear it, I feel like I can lift or organize anything. Hmm, that's similar to how I feel when wearing my shell. But there isn't a lot to organize in my village. I feel like there is still a lot I can learn. Raised in the dungeon by a family of hermit crabs, she is more comfortable with her pets than with strangers. Fair. I, uh, I can definitely relate. Purse, I promise, me and my bug friends will learn your ways and surpass you one day. Oh, also, I took a shower. I even noticed something, something. I couldn't be fast enough. God, God damn it. All right, well, we've got Pocket. We've got the whole gang now. All right, that, that means that there's a couple of things that we're going to be doing. But first and foremost, let's see if I can hand in anything in particular. We are going to look specifically for items, but I don't know. There we go. Got these. Womp and this one. Womp. We have now unlocked the wooden dagger. Do we have any other particular items? We are only looking for the items because I've got a certain thing that people have been asking me to do for an age. Mm, magic there. Let's come back to that. Let's just make sure I don't need that lightning bolt anywhere else. Uh, because we've, we've been there before. I don't think there's anything there that I'm going to need. All right. Sure, magic ray. There you go. Punk. Done. Right, we've got a load of gubbins. Thanks for that extremely long run. Let us build the beacon. It's going to take 500 treasure. And this is why I didn't want to use anything up yet. We want to go over here. We want to go ahead and see if I can't get the treasure we need. Womp. Yep, there you go. Sell items. Thank you. Now we should be able to build the beacon. Oh, it's actually really small. Huh. Okay. Uh, do we want it in the center of the town? Possibly put it over here. Right. Uh, let's go and have a chit chat. Great work with the beacon. We already have a signal. You found my dad? I hope so. The signal is nine floors down in the dungeon, in the depths of the dungeon. If you can make it to the end of the third zone, you might just find him. Fair enough. That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, where are you, my scholarly friend? Where is us? Oh, there we are. We need to go and have a chit chat. Do you have anything new for me to read? I do, as it happens. Ah, here's something for me to read. The Four Banners War. Dogs and cats started it, but deer and birds ended it. Noctua turned the solid ground wet and turned the burning oak against them. No hoofed creature has been seen in centuries, but strange lights dot the mountains. No normal animal could walk there. Fair enough. Okay. I don't, unfortunately. All right. Well, we've got a bunch of gabins that I would like to sell in the store. Goodbye to all of those. It's not going to get us much. We are, we are kind of poor as a consequence of all of that. However, we should still have enough to buy one or two more things. Now, 
from what I understand, we are now standing at the precipice of the end of the game, of the end of the story mode. So I turn to you to ask you the simple question. Would you like us to just hand in the next fight and go straight down there and uh, with purse and possibly finish the game? Or would you like a run or two with pocket? I feel that we deserve it, but I'm going to leave it to you to decide. And you start with these items. Uh, wow, are we... Hmm, okay, <laughs> a golden shell. Pocket, you are a strange one. More reason for us to, to find out about you. Uh, let's see what we've got there. Easy mode for pocket. Uh, we've got so much food now. Uh, is there anything we particularly want to unlock? I haven't done a bow run as well in uh, age. Let's just go through and unlock all of the food that I can. All of the food unlocked, rather. Because we... We definitely uh, made sure that the people would not go starving. It took us a bit of time to get them all homes, but uh, they had full bellies, at the very least, the whole time. We've got priorities in an order, not necessarily the right order, but it is an order. I can confirm. But that is going to be it for me. Do let me know down in the comments below whether you would like us to take a run with Pocket. I don't think that would cause the game to end. I don't think you can win the game with anyone but Purse, from what I understand. But uh, let me know, and we will see where the story goes in the next episode. But that is going to be it for me for now. I really do hope you have enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, from me and everyone in Ordaria, including probably the bad guys down in the dungeon, I imagine. Do take care. <laughs>